Ever wanted to know what I take fishing with me to a commercial fishery in front? Let's go find out. So let's talk about what to bring to France. Let's start with a bivy. We're going to break this down into sections. Bivy first. Right, I've got the Tracker Tempest 150. That's just big enough for me. It's a 1.5 man. So it's not the whole two man, which is sometimes too big of a footprint. It's a 1.5. Offers me plenty of space for the whole week and all my gear to go with. This bivy comes with an inner capsule. That is a lifesaver. If you don't want uh, four-legged friends running around with you, get one of them. They will never get in there. It's got uh, mozzie mesh all the way around it, so then mozzies stay out as long as you keep it zipped out like I have now. You can open up all the windows around it. Loads of air coming through for them hot days. It's an absolute winner, in my opinion. Right, so let's take a rummage through the electrics bag and the personal effects. This is where most people bring way too much stuff. I haven't got the kitchen sink hiding in this bag, I promise you. What I will touch on first though, no need to laugh, but uh, factor 50. I'm ginger, it gets very hot out here. If you do not bring sun cream, you're a bit of an idiot. If you do bring it and don't use it, you're even more of an idiot. And if you don't wear it on because you don't like getting oil on your hands, you're just a fool. Put it on, stay safe. That sun can be very, very dangerous and ruin your holiday. Get it on. Kid sensitive, just for me. Right, let's delve in. So, what I bring. Ridge Monkey Vault, power pack. All week long, never lets you down. Ultimate power, charging your phone, your lights, so on and so forth, perfect. Ridge Monkey head torch, obviously it can be any head torch. Make sure you've got one though, you're definitely gonna need it. For a little bit of army ants in the evening for tying them rigs and that, get yourself the Ridge Monkey Bibby Light. Do you know, Tracker dudes, same, loads of companies do now. Got a metal clip, goes on the outside of your Bibby, snaps on, it's in place, smoke control, on off. Perfect for the night time when you need it. Make sure you bring some wires with you for phone charging, etc. They are a definite must. Right, what else we got? Right, two edges. Tracker, light, I'm not gonna be able to see it in this light. It's a bug zapper, perfect for them gnats that crawl in there, or fly in there, should I say. Keep it up, you go in there 10 minutes, it's gone dark, turn it on. Doesn't, don't hear it goes bzz, bzz, but it does, you can see them all collecting in there. Get a little brush to get them out. Stops you getting bitten. Best purchase, one of the best purchases I've ever done that one. And then the tracker fan. Wouldn't be without this to be honest. And it's not necessarily because of the heat. In the back here, you have a little swab and thing where you can put smellies in it to keep the gnats away, it kills them off. Bang that on at night time. Not all night, but just for a little while. And that and that will keep everything out of your way. Let's see what else we've got on there. It already seems like a lot, doesn't it? Right, coils, yet again for outside the bivvy, sitting out at night time. Light one of these up, smoke gets rid of gnats, they do not like it. Then there it is, the citronella oil, which go in the back of the fan. The gnats dislike it. Get on it, it's well worth it. Let's just throw that back in there. Right, let's take a look down this one. Right, here it on. Bring some. <laughs> if you hay fever, any allergies, so on and so forth, bring yourself some pirate on, you will need it. Uh, some nat cream. Some of this, need that, just in case you get bitten. So a pamphlet, just in case you get any burns. That all goes in there. Let's see what else we got. Huh? Oh yeah, again, hay fever sufferers, get yourself some of these hay fever wipes. They will help you out no end. And I think we're pretty much done for this one. Ah, deep spray. Another good one. If you're out in the evenings, then gnats come out, and they are huge gnats as well. It's got sub, yeah, a couple of squirts of this around the wrist, around the neck. Don't come near you. I've been using it all week. 
and I've picked up one, I believe so far. That's well worth it. Right, you've obviously got to stay clean when you're out here. Facilities Gigantica, absolutely lovely. Some French lakes, not always so. So you need to be able to keep yourself clean. Read your monkey bag, let's stay in that mirror. You know, we've got toothpaste, toothbrush, sprays, so on and so forth. Let's go on this side. Some wipes, just in case you need them. Got some deep soap, mozzy soap, that's very helpful. That all goes in there. And for some reason, everyone fish, every fisherman seems to have the original source, mint one. Don't know why, it just seems to be a go-to, but very refreshing. So get yourself on that, you will not be disappointed. Now, clothes. Now, we predicted the weather to be quite poor out here this week. As you can tell, it's actually a bit roasting. I've even got a sweat on sitting here, sun's out. So you kind of need to bring a selection. Now, you can wear them over again, but what I like to do, and I don't want to go home and uh, mix up all my clean clothes with my dirty clothes. So I have my clothes, and I use one of these bags from Calder, and I literally fold it all up, it goes in there, all my dirty stuff and he'll go back in my clothes bag but all wrapped up get home whip this one out that one's for the wash the other one with the clean stuff doesn't need washing and finally footwear oh it doesn't look like footwear but these are my waders you i suggest you get some you will normally need them especially if you catch a big fish and you're in the margins can go in in your pants but it's not always nice especially if it's a bit chilly uh yeah welly boots fine but margins are normally too deep for them so bring yourself some waders in a wader bag problem solved to aid with the bad weather that can happen the cold mornings and then the sun uh, i like to bring a selection of hats now some people say i take the mickey when it comes to hats but i don't actually think i do i think they're just very jealous of my selection like so many different things, different colours, different styles, and uh, you just end up with the one that you want for the occasion. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Welcome to my bivvy, a place of privacy and safety and security and all the things you need to escape the day. However, it's the bed we need to talk about. You need to make sure you bring out a really comfy bed with you. This six, seven nights out on the bank, you're gonna be feeding it by the end of the week. I've got the Tracker Leather Light oval bed, which is perfect for me, I'm a big lad, um, as you can see. And uh, I like to sleep sort of on my side, feel position, and it's perfect. That extra wide bit in the middle, absolutely marvelous. Coupled with that, I've got two pillows, track a half moon and a rectangle. I love having two pillows, it's the easiest thing for me. Just back to the clothes slightly, when I'm sleeping in the bed, I don't like feeling restricted. The sleeping bag is definitely, definitely 100% warm enough. However, I go with a corda thermal layer with a t-shirt over the top and on the bottom I do the same with a pair of shorts, that means I can move around in the bed, I can shoot out to the rods, everything, and be nice and warm. You couple them with a pair of these bad boys, some Crocs, get the camo ones, the other ones are just not it for fishing. But you get a pair of these, them clothes, you're straight out there. These slip on nice and easy, you won't miss anything at all. Now, if you don't mind, and not being rude, please uh, may I have a little bit of a privacy. Thank you. So, tackle, what do you need to bring? I'll be really honest with you, you can overthink it as I open my call tackle box and you see a mountain of stuff. You can overthink it and you shouldn't. Just fish the way you would at home. You honestly, I know I've said it a hundred times, you don't need to change loads and loads of things. Just don't do it to yourselves. I've just got all the normal bits in there. I've got my hooks, uh, rig line, spinner kit, I don't know, it's really hard to put a slow sinking maze. Don't overthink it. If there's anything particular that is, I'm not covering uh, in this film, just give me a shout on Instagram or on YouTube and I'll answer it. But 
honestly, just do what you do at home. Don't have to bring loads and loads of tackle. There's just no need for it at all. You're wasting your time. Do not make yourself out of pocket by buying loads of stuff. Just do what you do at home, just out here. So let's move on to the rods, the reels and the line and what it's all sitting on. Um, I'm lucky enough to have some quarter Kaisens. It's the first time I've used them out here. They're a 12 foot, four pound version and they are an absolute dream. However, you don't need to have these. Anything from 3.5 up to 3.75 test curve rod will do the job more than adequately out here. I coupled that with some Beja reels. Can't go wrong with these. Everyone knows Beja are just Beja's. If you can't go wrong. But yet again, a big, a big pit reel will do the same job. They are on the Delkins TXIDs. I haven't really come away from Delkin since I started uh, carp fishing, to be honest. Um, there are the foxes out there, the Nashes. I just love the sound of these, the vibration, the sensitivity, perfect for me. Um, the line I'm using is the Corda Long Chuck, 15 pounds, 30 pound leader. Yeah, again, just helping me cast out there. Wouldn't say it's doing too much, because I'm not way, way out there. I'm only 25, but it all aids and it all helps. This setup has been my setup for the week. Don't have to have the same as me, but make sure them test curve rods are 3.5 or 3.75 and you should have no problem at all. Right, scales. You need to bring your scales when you come to Gigantica. Do not need to bring a net. You do not need to bring a waist sling, but you do need to bring your scales and your distance sticks. They used to provide them here, but people decided to start breaking them and nicking them because because you know what people like that are like and I hope the band for life is no need for it. So you need to bring them. Do check though with every commercial lake that you come to uh, in Europe because the rules vary. However, here you need to bring your scales and you need to bring some distance sticks. Distance sticks you need to bring, quarter distance sticks. Little isotope in there can help you see them in the night time if need be. And then the last bit from me are your two spots. I'll go for the large. And the middle, just to help me if I'm struggling on the range or bait up heavily with this one, switch over to top up the spot on the smaller one. And then it is the Kaizen spod rod with the braid, 30 pound iron I'm called leader, absolutely doing the business. It is top quality stuff. If I've missed anything, please just get in contact and I will reply with anything you need to know. I've tried to go through everything, but there's always something you miss. So give me a shout, drop me a message, and I'll message you right back.